Hello everybody and welcome to the Thaco Gamers. My name is Matt and today we're going to talk about the the this thing right here. Oculus Quest 2. It's the sequel. It's part 2 and it's coming to you coming up just in a second. This is the Oculus Quest 2 and um I was so not on top of the game. I didn't even know this thing was happening until about two, three weeks before it came out. And I was pleasantly surprised that it was actually even going to be a thing. So when I decided to start uh, firing things up and doing things again, this is the first thing that came to mind that I should check out. First thing I want to say is I like the white and black color scheme. Um, every headset right now is black. This white one's pretty sharp. I think it's pretty nice. I don't know if the white is going to show, you know, you should, hopefully you're not have dirty hands when you're using this thing, but hopefully it won't show grime and stuff. I'm assuming they won't. Uh, I will say it will probably show fingerprints and stuff like that less and smudges less than the black ones will. So that's kind of nice. And another thing, one of the first things to point out with this is Oculus seems to have abandoned their original headset straps, uh, the harness that they tend to use. Uh, and went for what the Vive, the original Vive used, which is these elastic and Velcro. This is literally right out of right out of the Vive's, how the Vive's headset is. So I was surprised when they did this because I always liked the functionality of the, the Rift and the Rift S. Actually, the Rift wasn't as good, but the Rift S uh, and the, the original Quest with the headset attachments that they had to be able to tighten that up on your head and stuff. I thought that was pretty cool, but I'm not going to lie after going from the Vive, which was one of the first ones, it hurt the head after a while. And then going to those for ease of access and everything. And then going back to this, this, this wins for me. And I guess really the only thing we can compare this to is the original quest. Um, so, but this wins for comfort. This is First of all, it's much lighter. It's not as heavy as the Quest is, the original Quest. And this head strap is so much more comfortable. I can literally wear this for hours, where the other one, after probably about an hour or so, started to get a little uncomfortable, bridge of the nose, um, right around the forehead and stuff. No, I'm not saying any VR headset, you put it on for a while, is going to be uncomfortable. But this is this is probably my favorite one so far. So... Very happy with this. This has the built-in speakers like the others do, uh, like the other Oculus ones have had. The Rift S and the Quest with the built-in speakers right here into the strap. Uh, the sound is good. Uh, some other people have complained about it. I honestly, I like the sound because it immerses you enough but still gives you the ability to hear some ambient. So if someone walks into the room or the dog barks or something like that, you're not going to trip over things. Other people may find that as a disadvantage. I like these. The sound is good, and it's surround soundy, and it's it's just good, but it's it doesn't just completely bury you so much in VR that you can't hear anything else because unless you live completely by yourself and have your own restricted play space, you're probably going to want to hear a little bit of this, especially if you have kids, pets, anything like that. You want to step on the cat, break your ankle, and I don't know, might injure the cat too. So This is... Uh, all self-contained unit, just like the other Quest is. You don't need a PC to play this, but what's cool about this, you can get the Link cable, which come does not come with it. Uh, I will eventually get one, but you can play this just like your Oculus Rift. You can use your PC as the powerhouse and use this just for the display. So that's pretty cool. Now getting into the display, this is by far, of all of the Oculus products, this has the nicest looking display as far as I am concerned. Now this does have a little bit of issues with the deep blacks. You lose a little bit on there, but it's not, it's no worse than any other headset as far as that goes. The Quest, the original Quest probably is a little bit better with the deep blacks, but the higher resolution on this, there's a lot more pixels in here in each eye and it just does a really good job of you can read all the text it, it, that's really nice about that is you can read the text and everything else that's been an issue with some previous products so there is a headphone jack here it's just one jack so uh, you can plug it in from here if you want to use your own headphones but 
You have your volume controls down here underneath, and then you have the power button right on the side here. So it's like the original Quest as far as that's concerned, your little charge port here. Now this is self-contained. It doesn't need any other sensors uh, like the Rift. Uh, this works like the Rift S. It's not like the original Oculus Rift where you need sensors or anything like that. This just triangulates between your controllers, your two controllers and the headset, and uses that to figure everything out where you're at and all the cameras on here and everything else. So, And the tracking works really well. Now another thing on here that I want to talk about is the the Rift S specifically had a single pane across there. You couldn't you had to control your IPD, which is your the distance between your pupils. You had to control that with software within the Rift S. And I hated that. Was not a fan of it. I liked the Vive where you could dial that in or even the original Oculus Rift where you it was a clicker. So this goes back to that. Now there's only three settings, but I don't know if you can see this or not see that you can space those and there's three settings on there and the default where it was at things were a little blurry on the edges and I just clicked this one out to give me a little bit more space to setting two and when I did that it, it fixed so much and it's so much better than the Rift S the Rift S gives me a little bit of a headache almost when I use that because of that software IPD adjustment that that does the fact that this one does it the old-fashioned way with the old that just being able to move these is so much better and i was able to dial it in a lot better now as far as the games go the games that this offers are the exact same games that you're going to get on the original quest and if you buy a game for the rift it may or may not also be included as a quest title most of them are not some are, but most are not. So you're going to have to keep that in mind when you purchase any games. Or if you have a big game library for your original PC Rift, that this probably is not going to take a lot of those. I would look them up on a game-by-game -game basis to see which ones are going to show up in your library here. Speaking of your library, there's another thing that a lot of people don't like about this. And to be honest, I was not a big fan of is you have to log in with Facebook. This is the first Oculus device where you have to have a Facebook account and log in with Facebook. So if you if your Facebook account gets disabled, if it um, it gets hacked or anything like that, you're, you're going to lose your uh, access to be able to purchase games and all that kind of stuff with your device. So I don't like that. I'm not a Facebook fan. I don't love Facebook. Um, I wish I could just use my original Oculus login and I didn't. I had to migrate it to my Facebook account. So I'm not a big fan of that. For any conspiracy theorists out there, yeah, you guys probably aren't going to like like this at all. But uh, I, I'm not that far into it to where I think it's the end of the world, but I definitely don't love it, and that is a downside for the Quest 2. But as far as comfort, graphics, and sound and everything else, this thing is by far superior to the Quest and in price. This is $100 cheaper and has you can get one of these with twice as much space as the bigger Quest had. So the original Quest was a 64 gigabyte for 400 or a 128 gigabyte for 500. This gives you a 64 gigabyte for 300 or a 256 gigabyte for 400, which is what this one is right here. So you can store a lot more games on it, which is nice. You don't have to delete one to download another. So that's pretty cool too. As far as the controllers for this thing are, if you've, I've given a review now on the Rift, the Rift S and the Quest, and these controllers are pretty much exactly the same. I, I love the touch controllers. I've always been a fan of these. And from the moment they came out, I thought these were superior to the Vive controllers. There's a few people that like the Vive ones better. I love these controllers. They are just as good as the, the Rift S. The Oculus touch controllers are great. I love the analog sticks. I love how well they read. I love the touch sensitivity. And I, no complaints, no complaints. And the white is cool. I can see some fingery, grimy stuff. I bet you is going to show up on these after a while. But especially if you got kids, and I do, and they will use these. So you have to make sure that they uh, wash their hands thoroughly before using. Oh, it comes with a uh, spacer for the glasses here, too. Gives you a little bit more distance if you want to wear glasses. No, I'm wearing glasses right now. Take my headset off. And... My glasses, I don't see where the lens is here, or the mic is. My glasses can fit in here, um, 
just shy of the lenses. Now I have relatively thin glasses. If you have thicker glasses, you're probably going to have an issue with those. That's why they provide this little spacer. You just can click that on. That'll push out the foam a little bit more and it'll give you a little bit more distance. Not a ton, but probably about enough for the thicker glasses as well. So even gives you little instructions on there. I don't know if that'll focus on that. Come on. There you go. Yeah. See, so I haven't used these yet, but it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty obvious. So with these glasses can fit in there. So your thicker glasses probably with this uh, would be just fine. And then for your charging, where are we at? Here we are. Comes with a USB C, which of course, everything now is USB C comes with its own little adapter and charges via USB C. Now I do not have that link cable yet. As soon as I get it, I will try it out, but I will tell you if you are looking for Christmas time or whatever, for uh, an affordable VR system, if you don't have a PC already that can handle this stuff, this is a legit VR gaming experience. I The Oculus Quest in and of itself was, was really good. This is more comfortable. It is way lighter. Um, the graphics are better. Uh, it's gonna, uh, the processor is newer and faster. Everything, it's got more RAM. Everything about this is better, except and I will say the blacks are not quite, don't seem to be quite as dark as they are in the Quest, but it's totally forgivable. I, I give up a hundred bucks, uh, save a hundred bucks to have a little bit less dark blacks. I mean, th this thing you can just play. I mean, we know what the whole Quest is about. You don't need a PC. If you have a big room, you can map out a giant room. The world is your oyster. All the games use touch. It's great. And to top it off, if you get the link cable, you can use this connected to your PC the same way you would use your Vive or your regular Oculus Rift. So if you are even remotely interested and don't have a computer right now, this is 100% an excellent gift. Now I will say, like I did say, I do purchase all these on my own, uh, but I do have a link in the description. If you wanna help me out and you decide you wanna get one of these, you can click on that link. It's an affiliate link with Amazon. Uh, they will throw a bone my way as far as that is concerned, and uh, I'll get a little bit of a commission off of that. If you don't want to use that, it doesn't bother me. So I don't really make money off this channel anyways, but a little bit of support is nice to help fund all of this stuff. My wife would appreciate it. She'll let me get more things to be able to review on here. But other than that, if you guys have any questions, if there's anything that I missed on here or something that I didn't look into that maybe you guys were interested in, please leave a comment down in the description. To all of my faithful viewers, I am sorry that I have been gone so long, but we are going to get back into it. Uh, I have this. Uh, I'm, if you have any other uh, questions on this, please let me know. And also, I am going to get the index eventually, and I will do a review on that. And then as far as the video gaming MMO side, we're getting into WoW Shadowlands. We got Fantasy Star Online 2 coming up. Baldur's Gate 3, we've played, uh, had some reviews on that. So we're getting back into this. going to take a little bit for us to get in but and to get things rolling again. But thank you, everyone, for faithfully sticking around. For any newcomers, please feel free to like or subscribe, everybody else. I will see you again soon. Stay safe, wear a mask, coronavirus, and everything else, and make sure you don't get people infected. All right, see you suckers. Later.